Hello, everybody! Welcome to the rogue video of our journey to Angoro analysis. Let's take a look at this sexy, sexy quest right here. The caverns below. One mana quest. Play four minions of the same name. Reward crystal core. What's the crystal core? It is an enchantment area of effect, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's a spell that is always on that says all of your minions are base statted 5-5. Five, five. So, why is that so important? One, they can keep any buffs that they get on the field. So, why is that so good? Edwin Van Cleef starts as a 5-5 five, five, and then gets plus 2-2 two, plus two for all its combos. So, it can easily become a 7-7-9-9-11-11 seven, seven, nine, nine, 11, 11, big bad buff motherfucker. It also works. There's another card, the Mini Van Cleef, that's coming up that you'll see, who also keeps its buffs. Um, Defias Ringleader summons a 5-5 five, five and gets another 5-5. Five, five. You know? Um, even like a Murloc Tidecaller gets a 5-5 five, five that summons a 5-5. Five, five. Things like that, you know? 5-5 five, five Swashburglers, 5-5 five, five Novice Engineers, 5-5 five, five fucking SI7-8. It's like, there's a lot of shit. So, it's pretty darn incredible you know <clears throat> your ability to flood the board with a bunch of cheap minions is pretty darn high with this card now the question is how hard is it to play four minions with the same name well i have a couple of ways to do it one shadow steps youthful brewmasters ancient brewmasters gadgets and ferrymen's bounce effects those help that's really good Combining that with a card later on that we'll see, Mimic Pod, which allows you to get a copy of cards. Thistle Tea, that allows you to get copies of cards. There's stuff there. It's not that hard. Two, and this is the one that I think people are ignoring, is there's some early game elementals that give you elementals to put in your hand. One, two, flame elementals. <clears throat> so Firefly is a one mana, one, two, that says put a flame elemental into your hand which is a one mana, one, two card that just says Flame Elemental. There's another card called the Igneous Elemental, <clears throat> which is a three mana, two, three, which has Death Rattle, put two Flame Elementals into your hand. So you don't necessarily have to make a bounce deck. What you can do is just play Fireflies and play Igneous Elementals, get your Flame Elementals, play them, bounce them. Since they only cost one mana, you can just play them again. You can complete this quest by, like, turn four, and then just slam it on turn five, and guess what? You're, now the flame elementals that you get in your hand are going to become five fives instead of just one twos. I think that's the way, the best version of this deck, is something that has novice engineers, flame elemental generating things, and a few bounce effects, and then just hits it with, like, a swashburglar or a flame elemental, you know? Mm. That gives you a ton of, you know, Swashburglar and, you know, the card, this card right here, Hallucination, give you a ton of value and just give you cards from your opponent's class. And that's going to allow you to fucking play a lot of cards and who knows, you know, like, like it's not going to be that hard to, to play the same minion four times and to get this quest. And then once you do, you can just go off with five fives. Stone Tusk Boar becomes a fucking mad genius. Uh, what's his name? Bluegill Warrior. Sickness! Alright? Just just getting 5-5 five, five charges. Whoa! Whoa, even something as simple as an Argent Squire becomes sick. So, that's really good. And Hallucination will allow you to do that stuff. Notice it's also a one-mana spell, which will allow you to combo with things. Uh, and you get to discover a card from your opponent's class. You can actually pick a good one, instead of just getting a bunch of random-ass shitty ones. Um, I love this card. I think it's great, and I think it totally fits in the quest mechanic, and like, it's going to be a nice, nice addition to the Rogue Arsenal. And here we go. we got the Razor Petal Lasher. Two mana, two, two. Add a Razor Petal to your hand that deals one damage. So I'm sad to say that a Razor Petal is a one mana spell that deals one damage. Yeah. I guess it combos with Gadgetzan and Questing and Van Cleef. <clears throat> I do kind of wish this was a 1-1 one, one minion that dealt one damage. So that way I could get a little bit more tempo. And then these could have been 
the thing that allowed me to complete the quest. <sighs> but, you know, play this, get the thing in your hand, bounce it, play it again, bounce it, play it again. <clears throat> you know, there's there's potential there to just get a bunch of cheap spells and then go off with Gadget Zan or go off with Questing or go off with Edwin or go off with Mini Edwin, that guy, Biteweed, 2 mana, 1-1, one, one, gain plus 1, plus 1 for each other card you've played this turn. Now I realize that, you know, this is probably going to be like a 4-4 four, four or 5-5, five, five, most likely. But a 2-mana 4-4 four, four or 2-mana 5-5 five, five is pretty good. And then imagine if you get the quest down and this becomes a 2-mana 9-9 nine, nine pretty easily. It's there. <clears throat> the combos are there. <clears throat> I just, I wonder how good this is going to be, but you can get two of them, too, so that's kind of nice, too. And any sort of buff on this card is going to be crazy. <clears throat> so, you can see how the deck works, you know? The, the deck makes itself. Getting that quest and getting that quest early is essential. And this card is going to be huge post-quest. Razor Petal, Petal Volley. Uh, I think this card is kind of poopy because it just adds two Razor Petals to your hand that deal one damage. But if you're really trying to cycle spells and chain spells with, like, let's say, Gadget Zan or, like I said, trying to get a Questing Adventurer turn out, um, this card is really good. Unfortunately, Conceal is no longer a card, so you're going to have to make these Questing Adventurers pretty darn big and they're going to have to survive a turn. And it's going to be tough. <clears throat> the loss of Conceal makes this deck a lot less viable in my opinion but we'll see i think it could still be good and there's nothing that says this can't go along with the quest too and just kind of be something that you use to make edwin and biteweed really big you know mimic pod draw a card add a copy to your hand there you go right here's another thing that helps with the quest um i'll be honest i don't even think you need this card to complete the quest with the way things you know with with sort of the options that you have but the nice part is, is it could help you further the quest quicker. Or if you have some sort of big major win condition, i.e. a Leroy Jenkins, for instance, being able to play two Leroys is pretty darn good. Being able to get two Edwin Van Cleefs or even two Bite Weeds is pretty darn good. You know, just even two preps or two backstabs is pretty good. You know, this, this card has a lot of potential. So... I like it, and I think it'll be a pretty easy staple in, in the copy a bunch of stuff, draw a bunch of cards, play a bunch of cards combo deck. You know. And Venom Weapon. Three mana, give your weapon poisonous. I don't know if this finds room in the play a bunch of cards deck, but if there's some sort of, like, remove your stuff value-oriented... Uh, keep tempo on board kind of rogue. This would definitely see play in that. And it's pretty nice. You put your weapon up, and then on turn three, you can kill a 5-5 five, five and a 6-6. Six, six. Eh, eh. No problem allowing yourself to continue to develop the board. There's potential there, and I think this card is pretty good, but this might be the card that sort of doesn't make the cut in certain styles of rogue decks, but could be an essential part of other rogue decks. Who knows? Again, two of them might be pretty good, too. You mimic it. Sherazin Corpse Flower. Four mana, five, three. Death Rattle Gord Dormant. Play four cards in one turn to revive this minion. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Yes, playing four cards in one turn is apparently going to be relatively easy for Rogue, especially with all the Rose Petal shenanigans they got with gadgets and stuff and all this other stuff but getting back a 5-3 that takes up a spot on your board when it dies doesn't have charge isn't that good if I had a card that was 4 mana 5-3 that said die go dormant for a turn then come back to life I would play that card but would I play a card that says go dormant, take up a spot on your deck, and take up a spot on your um, board, and then have to play a bunch of shit to get it back? It's already got five attack. It becomes a 5-5 five five with the quests? Eh? Do I really want that? Not really. I think I would just rather have like a 1-1, I don't know, like some possessed villager kind of thing. 
I don't know if there's something like that, but, you know, just something that spawns a bunch of shit. This doesn't spawn a bunch of shit, it just keeps coming back. Look at its goofy-ass face. You know, like, like fuck. It, it just has this look like, I'm back, motherfuckers! <laughs> I'm annoying as shit, did you miss me? Like, I don't know, this car just seems annoying as shit. Uh, but annoying doesn't win the game. It's not powerful. It's just fucking annoying and keeps coming back and never shuts the fuck up. Like, ah, like I wouldn't want this guy at a party, you know? And just, I don't know if I want him in my deck, but I don't know, he's a legendary, so I'm sure I can just slot him in and see what the fuck happens. I don't, I don't know. Like, it's a neat card and, and the effect is really neat, but playing four cards is still a lot in my opinion and you're gonna have to work so hard just to get back a 5-3 this card should have been 4-4 four, four. or 4-5 four, it was 4-5 wow I would love this card I would be sick at 4-5 but 5-3 it's almost like you want it to die yeah I don't know maybe it's just something that kind of keeps absorbing removal or keeps absorbing and trading like it just keeps making value trades. Ah, it's, it's applications I just don't think are that good. No. I'm still going to do stuff with them. I'm still going to play in my deck, but I don't know. I'm just... Like, it doesn't excite me in that sense. And there's another card that I think is, is good, but does it excite me? Four mana, three, three, costs one less for each card you've played from another class. If this was... Cost one less for each card you've stolen or acquired from another class. I think this card would be fantastic. But it means I have to steal them, then play them. And then my reward for that is to get minus one on a 3-3 three, three weapon? Yay? I mean, you play one card, it becomes a 3-mana three 3-3, three, three, which I think is pretty darn good. It's good enough. I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of weapon-oriented, deadly poison Naga Corsair kind of thing that you can do with this card and get a 6-3 weapon that just keeps going fucking face. I could see that. I could see that working. It's, it's not bad. I don't know. Why not play Deadly Fork? This, I just... Uh, this, this card underwhelms me. Yay, I top deck a zero mana 3-3. Three, three. I mean, who cares? Like, I don't know if that wins me the game. It's extra reach. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, this card and shares in, I'm just kind of like, I think it's okay, and I think they have applications. I just don't know if it's that good. Like, I don't... It may not make the cut. <laughs> but a card that will definitely make the cut is the big bad boy. The rogue set, the vile spine slayer, five mana, three, four combo, destroy a minion. Wow. Your Galvadon better get fucking stealth because this dude is coming out of the woodwork and just smacking him. Your giant fucking Barnabas 8 8, whatever. Oh, you completed your quest on turn five? Good for you. Oh, look, a Mara Warden of Hope. Oh, my God, you set your health to 40. Oh, but he's dead. Oh, and I get a 3-4. What? And I can bounce it and shadow step and get a 3-mana three 3-4 three that destroys a minion. It's an assassinate on a stick. This card is sick. This card is OP. This card is great. This could be the card that you play four times that completes your quest. And then becomes a 5-mana, five 5-5 five, five combo, destroy a minion. <gasps> wow. Oh, God. Sickness. So there you go. That's Rogue. I mean, I don't think the deck makes itself, but I can see the pieces. Like, this really kind of makes me see the Matrix with this deck, and I think it's going to be really neat and surprisingly effective. Just being able to sort of tempo out a bunch of shit, get that quest, and immediately start going off with dudes, and swarm in the board on turn 6, turn 7, turn 8 with a shitload of 5-5s. Five That's going to be really tough to stop. And, uh, yeah, I think this deck has a lot of potential. And if it stalls out and, and it's harder for you to complete the quest, you can just play Vile Spine Slayer and take care of their thing and just keep developing board. Keep tempoing out. And I think... The quest works surprisingly well in sort of a tempo-oriented rogue deck that is just trying to complete the quest as fast as possible 
get some dudes out on the board and and go to town, man. You know, because every time you play a, a card, it counts towards the quest. So, you know, you might complete it with flame elementals on one game, and you might complete it with Swashburglar in another game, and you might complete it, complete it with Vile Spine Slayer in another game. Like, who knows? You know, this deck has the potential to play the early game and play the long game, and I think that's really neat. I think there's a lot of different builds that you can make with this deck and with this quest, and um, I think that's really cool, and I think Rogue has a ton of potential moving forward. So, that's it for the Rogue video. Keep learning! Keep rocking. Rockstar, I'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos, you can see the most recent videos here. You can see a recommended playlist here. And if you want to subscribe, you go right here. Thank you so much. Keep learning. Keep rocking. And the Rockstar will see you later.